Hello Capricorn and welcome to the new moon in Cancer reading. So the new moon is in Cancer. It's tonight. Um, you've probably been feeling it a little bit already. Uh, so we're going to look into the window of the Capricorn Collective and find out what's going on in the energy. So we all feel the same energy and we just it comes out different ways. So, so what we're going to do is you can look at any of the signs if you want to kind of know what's going on. That's why I like to do all signs readings because the energy for all of us is the same. It's just what window are we looking into. Okay. Um, if you want to know how I do readings, if you want to know about your sun, moon, and rising signs, how the energies can be reversed, or what happens if this reading doesn't resonate with me, and those types of things, if you go in the description box down below in the July reading, it actually explains all of that for you. And then also you have a reading, and then um, it also talks about what essential oils to use for the month, what crystals to use for the month, and then it has a meditation at the end where you can release some trapped emotions. So very, very cool. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at what's happening with this new moon. I can tell you already it has to do with authenticity and integrity. That's what's showing up with everything. It's showing up in my life. It's showing up in my friends' lives. Authenticity and integrity, the truth, lots of truth stuff going on, right? Which is interesting because it's not illumination. It's actually a new beginning. So doors are opening. So normally it's the full moon that's illumination. But there is, there's definitely some things and doors opening with the truth, that's a good way to put it. And we're going to look into your energy or the energy of the Capricorn Collective and find out what's going on. I want to thank the people who've supported this channel. Uh, hold on real quickly. Let me do this. I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the Capricorn Collective's highest and best good, bringing forth the most accurate answers. Um, I want to thank the people who've supported this channel by donating. There is a donation link in the description box down below. I appreciate that very much. Also, if you've watched these videos multiple times and you watched the ads and then you went to the, my description box and then bought some stuff off Amazon, thank you so much. And thank you to the new people who are new here and checking me out. Thank you for giving me a chance. I really appreciate that. All right, Capricorn. You ready? So we're going to look into the window of Capricorn. It's like looking into a house. That's my favorite astrologer says on YouTube. She says it's like looking into a house. And there's different windows. We're going to look into the window of Capricorn. I love it. Okay. Because tarot and astrology are not the same thing. We're reading energy here. Okay. It's not, not the same thing, but it does give us good guidance and good direction and a good place for you to come and watch the videos. Okay. All right, so that's you, that's the past, that's the right now, and then this is the outcome. If I need to clarify anything, I will. All right, so you're saying things differently through this, and you have the energy of your, your own sign, the Capricorn. The Capricorn sign, beautiful. And it's coupled with the energy of the Empress, so you're feeling really good. This is awesome. You're feeling really good. Um, you're working out, maybe. You're taking care of your body. Um, you are... Uh, taking care of your money and you're just, you feel very good about yourself right now. And it took you looking at things differently to kind of bring in this energy of these two, two beautiful, wonderful females. So not only are you taking care of your body, but you feel beautiful too. Uh, men, you feel handsome, right? It doesn't matter. These are women. Um, it's just the energy. So you're feeling very good. I mean, she is, I mean, those are, those are actually my two favorite cards when we're talking about energy for yourself and what's going on. And these are what are around you. You know, these could be your lovely angels that are around you, like supporting you and being like, Hey, you got this, you got this Capricorn because your person has been in a tower moment forever. And we're not talking about love here, but I just want to bring that up for lots of people who are struggling still with a person that they really love that hasn't come in yet. They've been in a tower moment for months. Um, some of you guys for years, <laughs> but, uh, so just so you, you realize what's going on, let's figure out what's going in your energy. Ready? Of course, the world. <laughs> you're feeling amazing. And if you're not, this new moon will open up this feeling for you. It would open that door for you. Um, and so you're feeling great. You look great. You feel great. I mean, all those cards right there, you're seeing things differently about yourself and about the world. And you're just like, you know what? This is actually really great. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Let's see what's happening in the past or what happened in the past, maybe in your childhood that could be resurfacing up in this new moon. Um, so the King of Wands energy is wearing a mask. So in, in the past, you, uh, you or someone else had not shown their true self to you and that was kind of it was kind of hard okay um they didn't communicate well to you 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 thought they were very self-aware until you got to know them and you're like oh, this person doesn't really know themselves 
They really don't know how to express themselves. They're not really a free spirit. So there is some sort of relationship. And this could have been like a parent relationship that bled over into the relationship that you have right now, the person that's going through the tower moment. Um, because they, they, you know they're wearing a mask and you know that they could be a lot more than they are and that bothers you. So let's see where you are, what, what is facing us right at this moment, okay? Um, oh man, that this person didn't understand what a gift you were. Oh man, this person who treated you in this way never understood your value. And didn't understand how amazing you were. And that's coming back up for you. Because you are you know you're amazing. But why can't anybody else see it? Or why can't he or she see it? Why can't my lover see it? Why can't the person I love see me that way? Or why can't they make me... And if they do see me that way, how come they don't make me feel like that? They see me that way. You know, why, why don't they give me the love that I'm actually looking for? How come they don't see me as a gift when everybody else sees me as a gift? Capricorn, I see you as a gift. And I know your worth, but your lover, you know, you're like, oh, it bothers you. And it bothers you because there's been multiple times in your life where people didn't see you for your value and didn't see you as a gift to them. And we've talking about we talked about it multiple times this year where you felt like you were taken advantage of. And you were taken advantage of. That's not just a feeling. Like a lot of Capricorns did get taken advantage of. And if they don't do it right away, they end up doing it. So we're trying to figure out why can't I get the person that sees me like I know who I am. Ooh, I'm cutting this deck in two different places. Interesting. So this is interesting. Um, these are the three cards that came up. This is what they wanted me to get. Okay, let's put these back. Um, they didn't see you as a gift and they didn't move forward with you in the, inappropriately in the right way, in the right direction. They never really gave you that cup of love that you deserved. Um, and that made you go within a lot more to figure out what is going on. What is happening? Why is this happening? It made you see things differently like this. That's what this card is. See things differently. It made you hone into the light inside of you and get really strong within yourself. That's why you're feeling so dang good. So this person, there is a quote that I think I put up that said, the ones who didn't give us love taught us about love. And so the person who didn't give you the love they taught you about love. And so now you know what love is because of it. Now you're just trying to manifest and bring in the person that will match that love with you. Let's see what's going to happen. Same thing. Who was this Libra? Yeah, maybe you guys got a Libra connection of some sort. But um, the universe is going to do it for you. You don't have to put work into this. You don't have to put logic into this. The universe is going to open this door for you. And I know you've been hearing that. Well, I've heard that my love is coming in and my love is coming in. But when you heard that, you weren't in this energy yet. You know, so it's like we have Lionsgate is opening up on uh, August 8th. And so there, there's some powerful energy that's happening right now. So don't give up on the divine. Don't give up on the universe. Don't give up on God. Okay. Don't give up just yet. They're going to make, uh, the universe is putting the plan together for you. You're so good at working and making things work logically. You don't need to do it. Just get out of the way. Yeah. All right. So you are going to get your truth. Um, this is someone or something could be spying on you, checking you out on social media. So if you are trying to attract someone, then keep putting attractive posts up. <laughs> okay. Um, talk about how lovely life is. And then that will, you know, uh, bring in, like, give the energy out on Facebook that you want to receive. If you want love, give love out and then receive it on, you know, in social media, whether that's Instagram or whatever, whatever your connection is. But somebody is checking you out. Some people might even be searching the Internet to see where you are, to see what you're doing. Um, but somebody is, you know, you're in somebody's thoughts and mind. And 
Um, and it's, it's very happy. The way they think about you is like, oh man, Capricorn made me so happy. Made me so happy. That could be somebody that you know or somebody, I mean, this could be somebody that you've been with before or somebody that you just know that never really been with you. Um, so that's something to think about as well. But definitely you bring this person a lot of happiness and they haven't forgot anything about it. And they see you as being like a teacher. They see you as being like the exalted one, you know, the one who has all the answers. And um, you like this. You like this person. These You like someone to see you that way. You want someone to see you as somebody who knows a lot because you've gained so much knowledge you've gained so much wisdom and it would be nice to be seen in that way and i got it right here the lover's card so you guys are the only ones the only ones so far and i have virgo and aquarius left so i don't know um but you're the only ones who got the lover's card um so something beautiful is happening something beautiful is overturning something beautiful is coming your way if you want love put love out and the more love that you put out the more love you will receive and then this person can come in for you okay all right if you like this reading or entertain in some way don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell this way you get notified as soon as i post something new bye capricorn